Welcome back. In Memphis, a major debate on whether police should have done more to help a rape victim. And if they had done more, could they have prevented another crime? All right, as we've reported, Cleotha Henderson was accused of murder the mother and wife, Liza Fletcher, when she was out jogging. But before that crime happened, Alicia Franklin says Henderson raped her and police, she says, failed to investigate that. Franklin says that she wants to go public with her name and story to hold Memphis police accountable. Alex Coleman from our sister station has more. Once the tragic murder of, of Eliza Fletcher happened and the connection was made to her rapist, uh, she was tormented in his. The attorney for Alicia Franklin responding to City of Memphis lawyers asking that a lawsuit over the handling of her rape case be dismissed. The city says the lawsuit is immaterial, impertinent, and scandalous. Gary K. Smith calls the city's response ludicrous because Cleotha Henderson is the suspect and the connection in both Franklin's rape case and the murder of Eliza Fletcher. They're trying to say that our allegation that there is a connection between uh, her rape, the failure to arrest her rapist, and the ultimate murder of Eliza Fletcher, in their words, immaterial, impertinent, and scandalous. And none of that is true. Franklin was raped in September of 2021. One year later, Fletcher's abduction and murder took place in September of this year. Franklin's attorney says MPD failed to investigate her rape, allowing Henderson to remain free until he allegedly killed Fletcher. The Eliza Fletcher murder uh, torments her. Uh, torments her in the sense that uh, she trusted the police department to arrest the rapist. They did not do that. In the lawsuit, an attorney for the city of Memphis writes that police have no such obligation arguing, quote, as set forth herein, there is no general duty to investigate under Tennessee law. Franklin's attorney also says during a 12-month period, her rape kit went untested in a Tennessee Bureau of Investigation lab. We know from the rape kit backlog case that uh, the Memphis Police Department has not taken the crime of rape as seriously as they should. For now, this war of words will apparently continue in court. This fight is a long way from being over. It is a long way from being over. Now, Franklin's attorney says within the next few days, they'll file a reply to the city's motion to dismiss that case and then wait for a judge's decision.